Hi, and welcome to this episode of GTB TV. My name is Rowan Brown, I'm a director here at Green Tail Apartments. Today I'm just doing a quick preview showing you the difference between two programs. One is Quicken Cash Book, and the other one is Banklink Books. Banklink, for a lot of people, is a pretty new name. The company's actually been around for over 25 years, starting in New Zealand. Banklink's primary role is that they provide bank data to accountants in a program that then helps the accountant to do things such as best preparation and end of year accounting work. So for a lot of end users, being our customers, they don't actually see the name Banklink. Although they may have been getting, we may have been receiving their Banklink data for quite some time. As a firm, we started using Banklink with the start of the GST in Australia. So in 1999, we first signed up accounts to Banklink and have been receiving data ever since. The software has been fantastic during that time and over that time we've now getting to the point where we've got other clients either that are, have been on Banklink or are on Quicken or MYOB or QuickBooks and they're looking at what alternatives and software they've got. And one of these fantastic opportunities has been the Banklink Books software. Banklink Books is very similar to what we use in our own firm except it's not actually on our clients' computers and instead of us doing all the data input we receive the data and then send it out to the client and they go through and do the coding and, and can do reporting and things on it as well. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. Very similar to Quicken though, however, and especially in the fact that both are money in, money out type software programs. So I'm just going to go through and show you a few things. Now first I'm just going to go through the, the method and how we get our data for Banklink. At the start of every month, the firm receives data from, directly from Banklink. And then what we do is we actually upload it onto an internet via a secure website housed by Banklink. When it goes up, you get an email just like this one on the screen here, just stating that the files there are ready for use. Once that's there, you come into your Banklink software, you know, get bank client files from Banklink Online. Again, it's a secure website, so you don't have to worry about security. Click on the file to be downloaded and only your files will appear here. There's a once only setup with a password and username. The computer then remembers that from then on. We click OK. It starts downloading the file. When done, click OK. Quick and easy. Nice and simple. Just the way you like it. Once you've got it, you can click open. There's our file. And open again. And now we've got our data up here. At the first screen, you'll see this little dashboard and you'll see these lights here. The red means uncoded data. Once you've sent the data back to us and, and all completed your BAS, it'll become finalised. When it's green, you know you've coded everything that's in there and it is ready to be sent back to us. Nice and easy again. If I want to code up this July data, again it's a sample data, it's only got the one month in it. I click on it and I get the main data entry screen up here. The data entry screen can be sorted by date, reference, account, amount, narration. Any of these sort of fields here, so you can click on them and put them in whatever order you want. Now let's just take a quick comparison back to Quicken for a second. I've got some sample data here from Quicken. Typical data entry screen, the registry in Quicken. Been around for a long, long time and many people are very used to it. Quicken, again, date, number being check number, the payee, who it's written to, we've got a category, very much like we had in our bank link back there. And a memo, we've also got our amount being whether it's a payment or deposit. Again, take a quick look at that, flip back to our bank link, very similar. We're looking at it looks like a bank statement, so it makes it, we're not all nice and familiar with it. Again, money in, money out type accounting. It's very good for very small businesses or farming businesses who do account on generally a cash basis. The few differences are, with Banklink, you, you're waiting to get your end of month data and then downloading it to code it. With Quicken, you tend to sit there and you enter the information. You put the date, the next check, who it's to, how much, what it's for, and the GST implications of it, and then a memo. And hit, and then you hit enter. And we all used to the old shishing noise that might happen. So the example here, I've got a transaction partly coded here for service fees. Pull this down. I can say this was an expense item and we can go bank charges hit record we hear the old noise in Banklink Banklink's actually already coded some of these bank charges and one of the reasons for this is that it has two fantastic 
components to it that really speed up data coding. One is mem memorize entries. Simply a memorize entry is you can memorize on the statement details a type, whether it's a bank charge or a deposit. Uh, you can have it so you might have a deposit that occurs for a thousand dollars every month and you can put that in and then you could say that would be rent from something. Just an example of how you could use it. So in here already, if we go through, you can see Coles Express here has already been coded. It's already got something in here and it's been broken up for car fuel. At the same time, we can use our payees to speed up in data entry. So check number 21 in this case, I can pull down the payee field. Here's all the payees I've already set up and you can set up as many of these as you want. I might say this has actually been for elders for some chemical. Double click. It already knows that Elder's chemical is account 319 and it sort of fills in the narration and, the, and it's used this payee. Made it nice and easy. We didn't have to even go and look up the chart and think what we'd put that to. So going back to our car fuel one, you notice it was actually broken up over a couple of items. This is what you call a dissected entry. And for more detail, we just simply double click and you see the breakup of that has been one line has actually been coded with GST and one without, so therefore we've allocated for the private and business use of the car fuel. If you're unsure what code you want to choose, you simply push F2 and it brings up the chart of accounts. In this case, uh, all the income items that are at the top, expenses in the next section, and happen to be in alphabetical order. Even though they're using the accountant type thing of using numbers, the numbers are set up in a format that are actually alphabetical. So we would go down and choose what it was going to be, whether it's fees, levies, in this case it's been car fuel. For the GST codes, if you need to change the GST, it will default to the GST code based on the code we've put in for the account. But if the GST code was wrong, we simply push F7 and it pops up our list of GST codes, very similar to what we're doing in Quicken. Just as a reminder of what you're doing in Quicken, we go into your split entries, click the little green tick, it brings it up on the screen. You, you can allocate over multiple categories, just like we choose different accounts. And over here with the GST, you pull the list down, and there's the GST codes, just like we did in Bankly by pushing F7 and pop the list down for us. So nothing's really different. It's slightly different, same concepts. They're both very good programs, and you can see the similarities in them. One of the big benefits for Banklink we see is that there is less data entry. Using memorized entries and payees, it's cutting down a substantial amount of the time you need to record things. The bank rec, all of, to do to do a bank rec is you click UPC up here, you put in the range of the checks for that month, and it will flag any checks that have not appeared. If there's future data in, data in there, so you may be enter, doing three months at a time, and the check's already been entered in the next month as being presented, it will drag it back and reflect it in this month. If not, it will show the transactions. You just simply tell it how much the check was for and code it as normal. Next month it matches it up. As opposed to Quicken, having to go through the whole bank rec process of going through your statement, ticking individual items back to match them up. So again, cutting down your time and effort. Disadvantages are Quicken, you get to put the data entry in as you go during the month, which a lot of people like to do. They pay their bills, they like to put the data entry straight in, whereas Bankly, they've got to wait for that end of month data to come before they can process it. Some clients can get weekly and daily data, but generally most people would do it on a monthly basis. If that suits most people, that, that they are pre preparing the work primarily to do their best or give to their accountant, it doesn't really matter. As far as reporting, Quicken has very similar reporting to what Banklink has. In the case of Banklink, we can go to reports and we can do cash flow reports, we can do our GST reports and prepare the BASs from it, just like we do in Quicken. With Quicken, we've got reports and we can go to banking, we can do cash flows, we can do spending reports and do itemised categories, getting detail entries, and down in the business area, you've also got your GST reports. Again, we're not losing functionality by using Banklink. They're both very good programs. However, one of the big things with Banklink is that it's being updated all the time and it doesn't take a lot of uh, resources on the computer to run. Whereas Quicken, you need to buy the updates to get to keep on the regular versions. So whereas Banklink don't charge for those sort of updates, they keep updating the software and that's just part of the service that comes with it. At the end of the month, when you finish doing all your data entry, you simply click send client files 
and via bank link online and we click upload the data uploads under the secure website and the account gets an email to tell them nicely that that data has been uploaded by you ready to be put back into our system the other big advantage of using something like Banklink, and this will also be one of the advantages of cloud type software is that if you do have any problems or issues you simply send the data file back to the accountant notify the accountant of any issues you've had and let them fix it at their end and the next time you get the data it'll all be fixed up ready for you there's been a fantastic uh, opportunity with Banklink and Quicken nowadays uh, we've been getting a number of clients not just from Quicken but MYOB and QuickBooks that have been looking for something a little bit simpler something to cut down their admin time Banklink's a fantastic product for that I'm not saying that the others aren't good, they've got their place, and especially if you're doing things such as raising debtors and creditors, the QuickBooks and the MYB programs are really good, but the bank link for those cash type businesses is a fantastic thing, and we see it makes your life a lot easier, it gives you time to work in or on your business more, or spend time with your family. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, if you'd like any more information on uh, the bank link product in particular, don't hesitate to contact the office and we'll uh, go through and do a demonstration with you. Thank you.